Hi, welcome to me and my Golf TV. I'm Andy, 14 handicapper. I'm Rob, 17 handicapper. And we're down here at Birchwood Golf Club in Warrington, Cheshire. Let's take charge of your game. The <laughs> <laughs> charge you game. Thanks for joining us here on the 17th tee at the Asprey. And as you can see, it's time for my swing analysis. This is where we analyze one of your golf swings to help you take charge. Yes, and as you can see, we have two today. So if you want to have the chance to win a swing analysis, maybe with your friend, go to Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter today, and enter the competition and make sure you tag your friend. It could be you we're helping with this year. It sure could. Okay, so we have Rob and Andy from uh, Warrington, from Birchwood Golf Club. Uh, Andy is a 14 handicapper, and obviously you're going to be taking control of Andy. Makes sense. Uh, Rob is a 17 handicapper. So let's just go through um, Andy's golf swing first of all. From the front view, nice setup. Looks a good solid golf swing. Nothing really too untoward going on there. Now, when we look down the line, this is where we see there's a little bit of an issue. A long way from the golf ball, so we can see there's a big gap between his hands and his body. As he swings back, we'll notice then that we put that back that line on the backside, which has come away from a little bit. And we refer to this as early extension when the pelvis extends towards the golf ball too early in the downswing. Now, Andy's, uh, Andy's bad shot is a push slice. Lost a lot of confidence with his driver, wants to hit that. So the four and the five iron are being used off the tee a lot. Driver struggling with a little bit. But if we look at the golf swing, Andy, it's pretty good, isn't it? And there's not a lot going wrong. Maybe it's something in the setup. Yeah, I mean, you can see, as we mentioned there, sort of standing a long way away, Pierce, that early extension swing fault. And it, it's a good sort of discussion point. This is because a lot of people will try and fix the early extension swing fault if they know they have it. But in Andy's case here, his setup is letting him down. And from, where, from how far he's standing away and reaching for it, the weight gets very much into the toes. It's very difficult to be stable and use the ground there but also it's very difficult to get that consistent strike on the golf ball and it causes those inconsistencies in that body moving forward. So we change the setup and we're going to change a number of things. That early extension swing fall is pretty much going to go. I don't think we need to actually do anything to do with the golf swing. I think it's all in the setup and there's a big correlation when we've used body track before that if you get the weight too much into the toes, it can get that path going out to the right. I see that myself when I'm hitting the shot. So that push element to his golf swing is maybe there because of that. So let's see, let's see how you're going to change that. So as we can see with, with Andy, he's, str he's stretching a long way away from the golf ball. The arms are very much in front of him, a lot of space here now. To hit the golf ball well from here, okay, the weight has to go into the toes and then we have to move forward in order to find the middle of the club face. So what we want Andy to do is get in a little closer to the golf ball, okay, feel a little taller. And as you can see now, what I'm doing here, my arms are very much hanging down. So the upper arm is much more connected to the chest, lightly touching the chest here, but I'm moving closer to get that. Now from here, I don't need to move forward. If I do, I'm gonna heal the golf club. So I can now maintain a good posture and I can keep my pelvis back and that's really gonna help me strike the golf ball more at the center. But now I can keep the weight in a more steady position through the middle of the feet as opposed to going towards the toes. So a simple posture change, getting yourself taller around it here, arms more hanging down here, not too much space between that. You're gonna strike the golf ball more solid and you're gonna be able to use the ground a lot more. Let's see, hit one then. So I suppose the one thing you would say, Andy, if, you, if you've been, this is not you, Andy, this is the other Andy. If you've been, uh, if you're hitting drives and you're working this posture, you may want to feel as though you try and play a little bit of a draw when you're doing this to stop the ball obviously getting out to the right. Okay, so out. just getting this good sort of solid posture, posture in the feet, arms relaxed, hanging down and keeping the balance through here. Very much feel the weights in the heel on the way through there as well. So you can see Andy would struggle with that because the weight would be going towards the toes. Well done. Okay, so let's get into Rob's golf swing. Now we'll be careful here not to make one of them too good pierce. Obviously we've got to keep it fair, haven't we? Rob's going to be better, of course he is. <laughs> okay, let's take a look at the front on with Rob then. So interesting to see Rob from the front on. Ball position, normally we're telling people to get the ball forward, but we can see that isn't an issue with Rob. He's got the ball outside his left heel. Now this could potentially be an issue, but let's take a look at his golf swing. As we move back into this backswing, great wind up, good body movement to the top, great transition. He gets that lower body work in initiating that downswing. But if we take a look at the lower body through the golf ball here, we're going to see a lot going on with his feet. That right foot sort of slides in and then the, the balance is sort of compromised through the shot there. And you can see actually how he finishes. I mean, there's, he must be pretty flexible he to finish be. like that. His chest is facing behind him. Um, let's take a look at the down the line view and we'll just notice here, first of all, posture looks a little bit off. A lot of tension in the shoulders, looks very upright and almost looking down sort of past his nose there. Um, but also the shoulder alignment. Normally when the ball is so far forward in the stance, we often see the shoulders tend to follow it. And then this can lead to even more of the path 
going left here. So let's take a look at the golf swing from down the line. We'll have a look here. So posture and, and alignment so far. Then we'll take a look at the back swing. Pretty good. Club face is good at the top of the swing. A little long, but that's okay. Down swing now. We tend to unwind that upper body very early. So you can see an impact here. That upper body is very open at impact. And we know when we get this, it's influenced definitely by the setup, but the path then is generally a little bit more left and he's struggling with some slices, Pierce. So um, if we can make a very similar to Andy, actually a couple of simple setup changes could really influence the golf can swing. Can really help that and win a couple of that with one little sort of thought in the golf swing as well. So I'm just going to very quickly replicate what you just said there, Andy. Ball well forward, very upright posture. Shoulders then as a result of the ball, obviously being further forward, the more the shoulders will open because they've got to reach for the ball. Now from this position here, it's going to be almost, it's going to be very difficult for him to get a path which would be more to the right, which would help him stop slicing it and maybe even draw it, which I'm sure that he would like to do. So from this position here, as you swing back, it's as though you haven't really got a lot of room. You're presetting aiming left. And then the first move is to just bring the club out in front of you. You mentioned there yeah. what we would call over the top of the plane and then more than likely get the path going to the left. So if we can, as you said, just tidy up the setup, it's really going to help. So first thing we're going to do is ball position further forward. So uh, further back, sorry. I'm so used to saying further forward. OK, so what we're going to do from here is we're just going to get the left foot, flare it and the right foot is going to move a lot. Now you'll see now the ball is positioned on the inside of the heel. To Rob, that's going to feel as though it's in the middle of his stance and he's playing a pitching wedge. Now, as soon as I then put my hands and arms on the golf club, you'll see that I can I can see straight away that my shoulder alignment is a lot more parallel as a, to my feet line. Again, over there, shoulders will open. This is going to square my shoulder line up. And then as well, probably just need to feel as though he just tucks in a little bit. Be difficult to tuck in until we can get you a little bit more bent forward from the pelvis. So from here, bend from the hips a little bit more, tip from the hips, create this posture. Again, you can replicate this in the mirror quite quickly. Somewhere in between Andy and Rob's posture is the perfect posture. So somewhere in between that. The, the Rob, Rob Andy is the perfect golfer. <laughs> okay, so from here, you know, Obviously, it's going to feel a very strange to start with, but get some mirror checks, get Andy to take some pictures of your setup and you'll go, it feels terrible, it feels like I'm down here, it feels like the ball's over there. The reality will be that it's pretty good. And then all we're going to say to you in some golf shots, and do this on the range first, is just hit some shots and keep that right foot on the ground almost until you hit the golf ball. So feel as though the right foot stays on the ground. That's going to slow the body down as far as a rotational point. It's going to allow the arms to drop into this area here. Now, as you said earlier, we still want the lower body start in the downswing. We just want to quiet things down a little bit, give the hands and arms time to catch up and close the face a bit more efficiently. So I'm just going to hit the shot here, doing that. And so it's going to be about 50% power. Right foot stays on the ground. We can see beautiful little draw up the left-hand side of the fairway. And that's a great drill. And then all you do from there is you just factor that in, progressively make it more aggressive, more power in those shots until you find the swing you're comfortable with on the golf course. Definitely. So I'm bringing some real simple change in the setup. And I think sometimes we're all guilty of maybe looking too much into the golf swing, you know, of trying to fix every little detail. But start with the basics. Start with, you know, checking the ball position, checking the simple stuff like your body alignment. And that's going to have a tremendous effect of how you swing the golf club. So two key things there, I think, that that um, both players can work on, you know, improving their setup. They're going to be, see some big results. Hopefully you're going to see some results if you can implement those things. Um, and post any questions and comments down below and we'll see you soon. There you have it. If you like what you see, hit the subscribe button. It is for free. It allows you to interact with us and see all our latest videos. Yes, definitely. If you want to see our latest video series, Go Long, it's going to help you hit that driver a little bit further. Click the link right there. It's going to take you straight to it. Thanks for watching and we'll see you soon.